Hello, my name is Mike Maldonado. I'm a member of 24 Hour Fitness in North Fontana, and this is my success story. I've been a type 1 diabetic since the age of 4. At the age of 13, with my diabetes, I suffered a coma. My blood sugar rose too high at a party, and I fell into a diabetic coma. I awoke three months later, and doctors said that I needed to regain some size and become physically active. Some of the struggles that the doctor said I would have with my weight is that being a type 1 diabetic, my metabolism is fast and I'm insulin dependent. So in order for me to gain weight, I have to intake a lot of carbohydrates, but at the same time I have to counteract that with insulin. So as far as gaining weight, they said I would be really lean and I'd be you know, at a moderate, decent weight, but never did they imagine that I would actually gain muscle mass from consistent working out. It actually started at the age of 16 when I initially enrolled in 24-hour fitness. I began working out for a year straight, and I've noticed that my insulin levels began to lower, and my blood sugar started to stabilize. I was 80 pounds. By the age of 18, two years of you know hard working out, I gained about 60 pounds. And after I started gaining the weight, I continued to dedicate myself and force myself to overcome that challenge and continue to push myself. After that, the doctors began to notice some lumps in my body and at first I was diagnosed with pneumonia. I went from 160 pounds to 80 pounds in a matter of two weeks. By the time the doctors realized what it was, I was diagnosed with stage four Hodgkin's lymphoma. I was 19 at the time. When the doctors told me I had cancer, they said that my life expectancy was anywhere from two to three years. They said that my cancer was so advanced, it had developed into my bone marrow and attacked my immune system, my lymph nodes, and I formed a tumor under my heart. So they said that with intensive chemotherapy, it would prolong my life for two years tops. They said that working out wouldn't be a, a way to help myself. It's something that was in God's hands. For the next 14 months, I did a series of chemotherapy weekly that lasted about six months, and my tumors continued to grow. After that, I had a set of radiation treatments that were daily, and that proceeded for three months. Doctors gave me a chance to try a bone marrow transplant. The donor was not there and did not come through with it, so we tried a stem cell transplant, which means they harvest the cells out of my own body, give me a seven-day chemo blast, and then infuse the cells in hopes to regain cells cancer-free. A doctor said it would take anywhere from nine months to two years to recover if I was lucky my body began to reproduce clean cells eight days later. I was released right before my 20th birthday. Doctors sent me home in hopes to celebrate one last birthday with my parents and to come back and recover. When I went home, I began doing sit-ups in bed and began trying to force myself to do at least one push-up daily. I began coming back to the gym and continued working out since. What this gym did to me actually saved me and it changed my life. The members here, along with the trainers, would see me you know, day in and day out. And no matter what struggle I was or what body weight I had at the time, they kept telling me to keep fighting, keep pushing forward. And every day, every week, every month that I came in, you know, their smiles and their compliments kept driving me forward and kept me working out to what I'm trying to become now and just a healthier person day in and day out. After I beat the cancer, I am now struggling with coronary heart disease. I developed the condition after the radiation and the chemotherapy. Doctors now predict that I'm going to have some type of stroke or heart attack if I continue to stress myself within the next year and a half. The best positive message that I could send to those that are also struggling, no matter what the cause may be, is to have a healthy mindset. Your mind can overcome any obstacle and your body overcomes anything you set your mind to. My advice to anybody out there that wants to work out or you know, wants to get in shape or just live a healthier lifestyle is to dedicate themselves and to want to achieve something that only they want. And by that, continue to fight on and your struggle will just keep getting overcome. I want to thank my cousin, um, Big Mike, Michael Kralis. Uh, he's the one that actually kept me alive. He went to the hospital. He handed me a book and had me curl the book in the hospital. He had me lay down on the bed and would make me reach for my cup of water. If it wasn't for him and it wasn't for my girlfriend now, um, Cindy Soto, her and the two beautiful children I have are the ones that drive me to keep fighting forward. Sometimes I have a bad workout, I have a bad day, but working out is a lifestyle and working out is something that I'm going to do for the rest of my life.